morning. Uh, this morning I'm actually gonna do my episode, if you will, with coffee. Uh, yesterday my husband and I had a nice little chat before we went to bed and uh, I was thinking about the times that I sometimes have to have a glass of wine before I go to bed and how at some point I would like to do an episode with that just to show everybody that it's okay to have have bad days and um, talk things out and all that good stuff but um, I probably won't, won't ever actually do that with a glass of wine at the end of the day so this morning we're using coffee and replacement um, so uh, some of the days that I've had that have been bad I guess or, or some of my episodic days um, can sometimes be a little humorous but are also uh, very frustrating um, I have fallen down the halfway down the stairs uh, twice um, I get cramps sometimes just at inopportune times um, where like a stomach cramp and a calf cramp or something like that will happen at the same time and I have um, taken a little bit of a tumble uh, we're gonna get back to one of those tumbles because that was kind of the start of the um, 2020 crappiness that has occurred. Um, I have been, um, uh, we talked about some of the foot cramps and some of the stomach cramps that have immobilized me for a day or two. Uh, we had a puppy for a little while. When I first went out on disability, we decided to get a dog um, to keep me company at home while the kids were at school. And uh, she was the cutest little thing that you ever saw. Um, she was like half two hour half um, uh, Jack Russell Terrier and we named her Kona and uh, she was uh, we did a lot of walking a lot of walking she was a feisty little thing that made my arms and shoulders very sore from walking because she was a little tugger so we were trying to teach her to um, walk next to us um, we got her a little purple harness um, that I could click on the front so that if she tried to pull it would turn her so her and I walking together wasn't so bad except for that she would get very very excited if she saw other people and always wanted to be petted and she um, would get so excited that she would scoot her little body at right out of that harness so there was actually a few times when Kona pulled me over into the street uh, one time I remember being very close to neighbors that are very close to us and I almost actually got out my phone to call them to help me stand up because I didn't think I was going to be able to stand up and then I got myself up and Kona back in her harness and we finished our walk. Um, then there was another time where she did the same thing. I, I had actually stopped and was talking to a friend for a while so par partially my fault but Kona was just so excited and wanted to be constantly petted by this neighbor that um, when we actually started to walk away, she wiggled herself out of her harness and I tr tried to bend over to get her back in her harness and fell over on my hip. Um, my neighbors then immediately came over. One of them took, scooped up Kona and put her back in her harness. The other one picked me up and they walked me home. Um, not necessarily my proudest moment, but uh, it just goes to show you that your community and, and neighbors and whatnot can really pull together to help you out. Um, so those are just some of the little mini falls that I've had, I guess. Uh, I've obviously had a little falls during yoga or during different activities around the house. Um, sometimes a foot might cramp and I'll just sit right down on the bottom. Um, and uh, different, different situations like that. So um, a lot of small falls other than the, the bigger ones down the stairs um, that <laughs> when they're happening are kind of uh, very annoying but when you look back are, are quite humorous to picture yourself on the side of the road with a wriggling dog that you can't um, can't, can't do anything with <laughs> unless someone comes and helps you out so uh, uh, we did unfortunately have to get rid of Kona when I lost my vision because um, I was stepping on her Poor little feet she was a tiny little thing and we decided that she should be with a family that could take better care of her and um, wouldn't um, hurt her so we miss Kona very much but for my SPS and um, 
uh, our family dealing with this newness that has now become part of our lives. Uh, it was for the best. So if you are having one of those days, like, um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say yesterday was a bad day. It was just one of those days that my husband and I were talking about how we're going to continue to um, look for ways that we might be able to improve my vision. Not that the condition of the blind isn't being very helpful, but uh, clinical trials, anything like that, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a whole new world out there when it comes to medicine. And while SPS seems to be, um, there's, there's only so much they can seem to be able to do at this point. Um, there's a lot of diseases that are kind of stuck in, the, in a rut of not, not moving forward. Um, optic nerve wise, there does seem to be some movement. So we're gonna keep looking into that so that maybe someday I can see um, my little girl get married or something like that. Um, not something like that, that in particular, or my son get married or my niece get married. Um, th those are all things that make me want to have a glass of wine because it makes me sad that that is not something that I'll be able to see. But uh, we are going to keep fighting, uh, as everybody should. I uh, should never stop. Uh, and I guess that's it for today. So, coffee, wine, whatever it is. Um, you drink, you know, get your get get stress out in, in in any capacity. You don't overdo it. Moderation is the key to life. Um, but <clears throat> that's that's today. I guess uh, many falls. Uh, look back at them with humor if you can. Uh, I know they're very frustrating, but um, if you can't laugh about some stuff, then. Um, you're going to cry about them, so you can sometimes do both, but I prefer to try to look back and laugh.